Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today's video I've got my cash shopping for week one of April. And today I should have £1,050 to cash stuff. Which again, I'm going to say it because it's, well it's a regular thing every month. Um, the first week of my cash stuff in is the biggest and the most money that I will stuff in a month. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 85, 20, 40, 60, 86, 20, 40, 60, 87, 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 98, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 99, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 1000, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50. There we go. So it is the most that I stuff in a month because sometimes my, well, my all my envelopes only get stuffed once a month unless they're my like daily groceries, household, etc. Um, but everything else just gets love once a month <laughs> it's just the way it is for me and i like to do it at the start of the month so everything is um everything's there for when i need it okay so let's get started we're going to do my file facts first which is my saffiano um i've had a few questions about this recently and it's just my, my saffiano it's called a personal organizer compact personal organizer and it is from Amazon. You can get them on the Filofax website as well. I got mine on Amazon and it was for a good deal. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven zips. They do get bent, you see that. But I prefer zipper wallets to the other wallets. And the way I do it is I alternate the zips so that they don't get as stuck. Um, but yeah, that's that. So first off, we're going to do £90 for groceries and £40 for fuel. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, then 20, 40. And we're going to do the coin flip with um, with this money. So the coin flip, I always do it with my groceries and fuel. It's just an, an extra way to save some money for myself. That's just how I do it. Um, let's see. So I've got a wee 10 pence, let's see, for the first one. We've got a heads, and we've got a heads. So they are both five pounds this week. Um, heads and heads. I don't think I have got change. Let me see. Oh no, I do. So I've got 15 pounds I can give to this one but I don't have five for this but what I will do is I'll just swap out two ten a ten for two fives and I'll give a five in groceries and put a five in here um oh I'll give it a count actually so in here we've only got two weeks left so we've got 20 40 60 80 1 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 85 so 185 pounds and like I said it's just a good wee challenge to get a wee bit of savings behind you um if you can afford it you don't always need to do challenges I just prefer to. I never done this to start with though. When I first started my budget and I first started cash stuffing, I never done that. Uh, so we've got 85 for groceries, which is a good amount. Household is getting 10. Fuel is getting the 35. So we've got 10, 20, 35. Miscellaneous is getting a five. And then spending is getting a 10. I'm going to do the Sudoku roll. Days out is getting 50. So we've got 20, 40, oh, and 50. And that's for the month. And then Lucas is getting a 20 and a 40. Again, that's for month. And then the kids get £10 for the week. Just for anything that we see. So that's that. I'll do my Sudoku roll just now before I forget because I've obviously got a lot more to cash stuff. Um, right, it's a docker roll. So with 10 sided dice, this is from Studio Budget Co. 10 sided dice, is that this one? Why do I think that's 12? That is 12, that's why. 10 sided dice, yes. Oh, 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 it's a three. Will that do? Let's see that will do just now until I figure it out. 
Oh, do you know what I forgot to do my check in? My mystery jar. Oh, well. Um, okay, so I don't think we've got any fives. No, we don't. So I'm just going to put this in and take seven pounds in change. And then I can swap it out for miscellaneous or for the budgeting, the shopping. Because um, I'm more likely to spend that than, than this. Let's see. Oh my goodness. Oh, two, three, four, five. So that's that. Oh no, we needed seven, didn't we? What an idiot. Okay. I'll have to take out another two pounds. There we go. So that is that. Um, next, we're going into this folder and gifts is actually getting 10 pounds now it has already got something in it but i am just adding something every month so 20 40 50 60 because we've always got something to buy whether it's a present for the party we're going to or some of these like retirement or birthdays it just there's always something collections at work oh my goodness collections at work but anywho um right so grace and lucas are getting 10 pounds each today So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. And then Lucas is getting 10 as well. So he's got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75. What I'm going to do is I'm going to swap those two fives back out for that 10 that we've done for groceries. Okay, that's that for this one. Now we're going into my kind of short term um, sinking funds. So we've got Costco's getting nothing. Date night is getting 50 as usual. So it gets 50 pounds a month. So we've got 20, 40 and 50. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the 20 pounds out from last time and I'm going to put this in. And I'm going to add this in a second to something else. So eating out is also getting 50. So we've got 20, 40 and 50. Mainly takeaways, but yeah. And then holiday is getting 180. So let's add 180 to this first. Um, which we're going to go over actually. So... 20, 40, 60, 81, and then 20, 40, 60, 80. 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 80. So in here we've got 1,600 in the bank. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 700, 20, 40, 60, 80, 800, 20, 40, 60, 80, 900, 20, 40, 60, 80, 2000, and 20, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80. So 2,080 pounds in here now. And then this is actually going into my anniversary fund so our anniversary is in september that's when we got married it will be our first anniversary and we're planning on just going out for a good night out and having a couple of drinks or more than a couple we'll see um yeah i just don't want to limit what we want to spend so if we want to get like a decent restaurant and get a steak each then we can do if we want to have a couple of drinks or a bottle of wine then we can do um, if we want to just have like a pub crawl type thing then we can do like i just don't want it to be limited when it comes to it so 225 pound is a good amount i think um when you think about everything including like transfers and taxes and whatnot not that we don't we don't live far from the town but um it's just 10 each time do you know what i mean so let's let's see we've got 20 40 60 81 20 30 40 50 60 75 80 so 200 and 180 um so 45 pounds to go and then that'll be done 
Right, that's that. And I'm just using leftover from date, to be honest. Now, um, I'm not actually budgeting for it anymore. Right, so next we're going into my binder. And we're just going straight to Time of Friends and I'm getting £70. So that's 20 40 60 70 So in here now I've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 85, 90. Which I've got a couple of things on this month so that will do plenty. And I think that's all in here. Now I'm actually going to start this binder. Now I know what you're thinking, Kelly, you've just started loads of challenges. I know, but this is going to be for the budgeting meetup, which I'm hoping to go to. So I'm going to start it off with £60, which I've not thought about this. I actually just budgeted £20 notes. One sec. I'm going to go to its coin flip and take out £60 worth. If I've got it, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Look at that. And then put in 20, 40, 60. Okay. So this is from Essex Cash Stuff In and there's the little logo there and I'm going to do, it's £200 it saves so I'm hoping this is for like the hotel, I can't remember how much I've booked the hotel for, I think it was like £202 or something. Um, so this is a wee start to that, I know I've not got much time to save for it but £60 is a good start. There we go. So that is that. And then I will cross off one, two, three, four, five, six. There we go. So that's that. Um, right, next we are going to our challenge 45, which is in this one. So this is our monthly challenge. And this month it is £45. So we've got 20, 40, and 5. So next week is 40. So it goes down in increments of 5. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 82, 25, 210. So £210 in here. I could always dip into this if I need to especially for the budget budgeting meetup because I wasn't thinking I was going and then I've kind of decided that I will go because a couple of people have asked me if I'm going and yeah if you want me to go let me know if you're not fussed again be honest please let me know because I'm just so unsure whether to to go because we're obviously in um, Scotland and we're a bit further away right next we are going to my annuals so home insurance is fully done, car insurance I'm going to put in £100, we've got a placeholder in there already, so we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, so we've got £200 in here now and I think I'm aiming to save £600 for that, that's fine, and then we're going to go to car. And car is getting £20, so we've got £460 in here now. I'm kind of aiming for like £500 for my MOT, which is in October, but you just never know what goes wrong with cars. Like, I seem to have bad luck with tyres. Um, it's not my driving, Ryan and I share a car, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> but yeah, we just kind of want to have a bit of a buffer in there for anything that goes wrong. You just never know. And we are going to put £10 into emergency. This is totally wrong, so I need to just redo that again. I keep forgetting about it. Oh. Right, so we've got 100, 10, 20, 30. Right, I don't need to write anything. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 215s, um, which I think are at the back, so let's see, one and two, there we 
go. So I knew I already had 720 in here, so it's 750 I've got now. There we go, that's that. Oh, I don't want them bent. And we'll knock off two 15s on our tracker because I forgot about this last time. And then that one. Um, where are we at now? So I think we should have 150 pounds left. So we've got 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 1, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. So 150 pounds. So 50 pounds of this is going to my home binder. So I'm going to put that to the side and then we should just have 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. 100 pounds for challenges. Which is not a usual thing for me, but here we are. So I'm going to put this at the back so I don't lose it or forget it. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is my risk with six. Now this is the only money that's actually getting allocated this month to challenges. So it may sound like a lot, but it's literally the only stuff that's getting done this month, apart from like my YouTube money. Um, right, let's shove that there, and then we'll get one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now let's see. Okay, what have we got? We have got a three and a two and a one and a, the ones like me um, and a nine and oh, and a ten. So we've got one. Oh no, we've not. We've got a three. Oh my goodness, can that drop out? It can with difficulty. Okay, a three and a two, a one, a one, a nine, and a ten. So we'll leave these all ticks because we are going to do them just now. I think this might be the lowest one, maybe not. So we've got ten, twenty, twenty-six. So ten, twenty-five. Oh, I need pound coins. Okay, let's see. I will take five out of Sudoku and put five in. And what I'm going to do is I think I might just roll for the next line and see how I get on. If I can stuff it, I will. But I don't want to push it. Okay. I'm not going to do it if it's like £40 pounds or something. Which it doesn't look like it's going to be, so that's fine. Uh, so we've got a 3 again. We have a 3 and a 2. We've got a 3. We've got a 7. And an 8. Okay. So we've got three, three, two, eight, seven, and a three. So let's see, we've got 10, 20, 26 again. Let's just do it. So 20, five, and a six. That's not 20. <laughs> 25, 6. Okay. Let's see how much we've got all together um, in our Risk the Six. This is my challenge with Charlotte from um, Shudu Budget Co. I thoroughly love it. I really do. And it saves a great amount as well. If you can afford it. A lot of people can't afford to do it, but then if you do want the challenge and you can't afford to do it, just do a roll a roll and just stuff it when you can. You don't need to all stuff it in one time. Just stuff a number at a time. So we've got 20, 40, 60, 81, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 92, 10, 20, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 265. 
And what I will do is put a five in here and take out the coins. Don't know why, but I will. <laughs> So 265, what I'm going to do is I'm going to write on this. So, I don't know where I'm going to write it. Um, 265. The last time I actually got over £300, but as you can see, I've had a lot of ones this time. This one, a little one square here going on. Um, and this is for holiday, so that's fine. So that's done and knockout nine is also done. Um, let's see. We'll do a scramble. I need the orange dice for this. There's the orange dice. There we go. So purple, which is four. I think I'll just use coins for that. And I'm going to do the purple. We'll do a block drop as well, because why not? <laughs> I just love doing challenges, I really do. I, I know I've said that, I keep saying it, but I just, I do, I'm addicted. Okay, we need the normal one. Which is the normal one? This one? Yeah. Oh, purple again, okay. Um, purple seems to like me. I'm going to do four, five, five up here and then I might roll again oh I went over the yellow how annoying is that there we go let's roll again oh, oh another purple no I'm not doing another purple sorry but no a line I like that's even better is it um, I need a square. <laughs> I need a square. Let's do two, three, four, five, six. I feel like this has been taken over by the reds, eh, the pinks and the purples. I've got two reds on it. <laughs> so that's £11 going in. And now it's got a pound. <laughs> 20, 40, 60, 81. 20, 40, 60, 82. 10, 20, 30, 2. So 232 pounds. There we go. It's so close to finishing that. We're going to put five pounds into here, which I'm just going to do that. Oh, I've done that already. Oh, I need to scratch off another one. Oh, another five, okay. So I'm just gonna put this one in and then I'll just do this one as well. Another five. <laughs> I wonder if these are all fives. If you've got this, let me know if they're all fives. <gasps> oh, gosh. Okay, I do love a five pound challenge though. So I'll just put the five in. And I'll leave the other five for next time. So I'll scribble out one five. And I'll put this in. There we go. And then we'll go to my other challenge binder. Which is in here. Okay, should I just finish coin flip? How much have I got? 10, 25. Um, do I wait till next week? Am I that patient? I don't know. Hmm. I think I will wait. Let's do spring flip. Um, check, check, check. An egg. There we go. Okay. So it's an egg, and that was a good flip, actually. So we have five... And in here now, we have got 10, 20, 35. Oh. And we've only got six more to go, to go on this, so that's a good amount. So if I do all five, it's going to save £70, which is a decent amount. 
Um, dinglies, I'm going to start this one. So we've got little bunnies this time. It only says four to five, so that's what I've chosen it to save. Um, sometimes I would usually go for ten if it's only nine of them. But I am thinking I've got a lot of challenges, so five is fine. I'm going to do my little bunny green. <laughs> a green bunny. Let's do rainbow bunnies. Let's why not? So this is like the monthly subscription from March. Um, I am thinking maybe after the next couple I'm just going to have a break with them because I don't feel like I'm, because I like to do all the other challenges, I'm not getting enough time to kind of do these before the next one comes out, um, which is, again, it's my choice, but that's just the way I feel. Um, so if I did that five and that's the green bunny done, we will go to... We'll put five pounds into easy squeezy lemon easy peasy easy peasy lemon squeezy and then we've got ten pounds which I think I might just put into the Scouse Girl budgets. So in here we've got 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 90, 110, 20, 30, 40. So 140. And we're needing to mark that off, which is here. So we've only got two fives on this page. And then the next page is like one of my favourites, I think. And it's the butterfly one. Um yeah, we've got lots of pages to do still, but that's an exciting challenge. And then we've got three pounds of which I'm going to put into Sudoku. Um, Sudoku. So, three pounds. There we go. And then we're going on to my home binder. So, let's do my home binder now. Now, I use the dice for this. I... <laughs> I seen on Miss Budget Selena's Instagram that well, this is one of her exes like sticking the notes out on a on a game day binder. Sorry, Selena, I'm gonna do it. But um yeah, she was talking about X and that is one of her X. <laughs> which I found hilarious, to be honest. Um but everyone has their own pet peeves during the budgeting world, don't they? And before you ask, I'm not telling you any minds. <laughs> Anyway, so we do 0 to 9 and we will see what we get. We've got £50 worth, so 10, £5. Let's see what we do. So 1, so that is... I'm going to just take this out actually because it's easier to see. Flamingo 5. This is what she means. <laughs> um, 8, which is Dahlia Dollars. Dahlia, Dahlia. Uh, number 4, Treasure Tower. Which is near finished, it's getting close actually. I'll fill them all out at the end. Um, number one, which is a Flamingo 5 again. Number seven, which is January Blues. Number four again, Treasure Tower. Number seven again, January Blues. Number nine, which is 100 envelopes. So I'll just pop a five into here. Number two, which is the puzzle challenge. Where is that? Because it's not had a lot of love in ages. Um, there we go. And then number one, which is Flamingo Five. So that was nice and easy. So we've got 15 pounds for Flamingo Five, so three. Oh, that was the wrong upside down. Okay. There we go. So let's do three. Uh, one, two, three. Oh, so we're only needing three to complete this. So we've got 24 to 60, 80, 98, 95, 1, 1, 5. We've got the puzzle challenge, which has only got £20 in it. So this is um, nice that it's getting some love. Jasmine's laminating is honestly that thick that you can't even get out there. It's great. It's good quality. That's the, 
that's what you want. Um, let's go for the turquoise and we'll do three and a two. There we go. So we've got 25 in here now. See what I mean? It is what you want though. You don't want the cheap, <laughs> the cheap laminating challenges because you want it to last. So that's that. I can't believe I'm over 30 minutes. Um, right, next. Treasure Tower. So it's getting 10. And this is from Grounded Budgets. And we're going to do a 5 and a 4 and a 1. There we go. And we've got in here oh, 20, 40, 60, 80, 90, 95, 1, 105. So 105, we're over that £100 mark now. And then over here, last, oh no, not last, um, we've got our January blues. So each of these are worth £5. Got this one and then this one. There we go. And then we've got 20, 40, 60, 80, 90 in here. And then the last one we have got is Dahlia Flowers, which is a new challenge that I have got from um, budgeting with flora and fauna. And that is getting so this is one of the ones I might have to condense down because it's got 15s and stuff but that's okay there we go amazing that you can stuff £1,050 in that short period of time but um, I hope you all enjoyed this video it was a bit of a longer one for me but a lot of you say that you do like the longer videos so I did. Ho I hope you did enjoy this um, truly thank you and i will speak to you all very soon my hands are actually freezing <laughs> but yeah hope you all have a lovely week if you are in scotland have a lovely easter i'm not even sure when the england holidays are but we are off for two weeks now and ryan and i are going to crack off so we will enjoy that as well Bye bye <laughs>